What is up, YouTube? We're going to start reacting to everything that was at GamesCon. I thought, why not? I would stream myself reacting to it, but honestly, didn't even know when it was. And I missed all of it, technically. But I do prefer recording in these small segments, so it's a little bit easier rather than me streaming it. And also because I don't have a room, so I kind of have to just, you know, sit down and record something anyway. Probably is my best bet. So, anyways, let's... uh. Watch this trailer and uh, check out Starfield because I actually I've seen it a little bit and to me like I'll explain how I feel about the other trailers before we get into this and one of the things I didn't like is the open land too much that we've seen because it makes me feel like we'll have to explore so much but like there will be nothing there if that makes sense like it doesn't always feel like it'll be good enough but that doesn't mean anything because that was like one real trailer that we seen that i was like eh, i don't know how i feel about it but like looking at this like little i mean this isn't even a big city by any means it doesn't look like it at least i don't know what exactly this is we'll continue playing in a minute but um this is gorgeous you know what i mean like i'm not saying that the game won't be gorgeous i'm not saying the story will be bad but open worlds tend to be uh, sometimes a little too open if that makes sense, especially huge projects like Starfield. But we'll see how that goes. Um, anyways, let's just continue watching it. I kind of like the outfits for the astronauts. Now, I know this is a live-action trailer, so it's not going to be the same as in-game, but I'm just picking out details of it because, you know, some of it is in the game, which is the whole point of showing the live-action trailer. I never really too much like live-action trailers necessarily, but it's, you know, it is what it is. That's what we have nowadays. So let's continue watching. I'd say the maneuvers so far look actually kind of nice. I already know what's about to happen. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I totally thought that asteroid was going to hit the ship and the ship was going to go out and then crash land onto the planet, but nope. But, like, this is what I was talking about. Like, this area right here. Oh, wait, hold up. Let's pause a little bit there. Right here, okay? This is what I was talking about. Think of, like, this looks like either people or just, like, totem poles or something like that. And he's going to land here at the land site, right? Which is fine. That's cool and all. But do you see what I mean about the emptiness of, like, open worlds? Now, I'm not saying this game will be bad. We don't know. I'll know whenever I play it and how I feel about it. Because it is an opinion. There's going to be people that I like. There's going to be people that don't like it, you know? Like, I liked, um, what was that? A Dragon Age Inquisition, right? But I hated the desert maps, I really genuinely do. Like, I might still like Starfield, but I'm still going to hate the desert maps, you know? That's just because I'm more of a forest type of guy, you know, or things like that. And that's just who I am about, like, you know, exploring regions and stuff like that. It's Forests are usually better and feel more unique. And not to say that deserts can't always have interesting things about them, because they do sometimes, right? Like, they do. But my issue is more about not seeing anything until you get to wherever that interesting thing is. And sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to maneuver. Um, <clears throat> because, like, for example, you may not have... Like, like we don't have a vehicle necessarily to, you know, traverse the land. Um, I'm sure they might probably add one in in the future, though. They might. Like, it could be a mount, like horses or something like that. It could be anything that will just make it 20 times better. I prefer that. Anyways, I know that they say, oh, we have jumpsuits or, you know, jump packs or whatever. It's like, yeah, but it's not like we can fly unless unless we can, you know, unless we can fly. But then, like, why? <laughs> you know, you know, it's just kind of like 
eh, prefer just giving us a vehicle so that we can maneuver. And, like, for example, you know how, like, Skyrim was when you're exploring, you get question marks. I'm sure that's going to be some type of thing like that in this game where there's going to be regions or different locations to explore. And you're able to, like, see that when you're close enough. And that's kind of my point. It's like, I feel like driving, you would see that more or horse riding, whatever it is. Uh, maybe you can get things for specific planets, you know what I mean, that you can't get on other planets. Like, I don't know if there's a water planet, but what if there is? You know, what a boat would help, you know what I mean? And maybe that, like, there are people that live there, or maybe there's mermaids. I don't know. There's, like, endless possibilities, you know? But, anyways, let's continue watching. I'll put it this way, though. Um, there's tons of planets in these games, right? A lot of them can be very, you know, not as... Now, I will say this game probably is going to definitely be better than um, that other space game that I totally forgot the name of that came out a few years ago. Um, I don't remember. If you do remember, let me know in the comments. Um, anyways, let's continue watching. But yeah, like these. Like those bird things, right? Why can't that be... Uh... You know, like, something you could mount and, you know, like, traverse the desert with. That'd be interesting. That'd be a lot better than jumping, you know? We didn't like it in Call of Duty. Probably not gonna like it in a game that's not even... Well, it's not multiplayer, but that's not the point I'm making here. The point I'm making is, like, it feels like you're gonna be jumping, sure, and you're gonna be landing, sure, right? Now, I wonder if there's fall damage in this game at all. I'm curious. But... Specifically, if you're jumping and you're going back down, isn't it going to be slow to go back down? Or is there, like, no fall damage? You know what I mean? That's, like, uh, my only issue there. But let's continue. um, Because that is still pick nitpicking a little bit. But let's continue and see if there's anything else other than the desert and the jetpack stuff. And, you know, being able to traverse the land. Um, Anyways, let's continue. Ooh, that crystal's kind of nice. I'm guessing it's a mineral you can collect, too. Ooh. Wait a minute, let's back up. I'm a little bit confused on this. Because he sees like a rock that's like in the middle of the crystal. Which I'm guessing is what created the crystal. Uh, or crystals or something like that. I don't know exactly. Um, but he stepped close. And then on his watch it says alert. Why do I get a feeling he returns to the city? Wait. I'm a tad bit confused about that. Interesting. I was going to say, maybe he returns to the city and he's different. Like, it's not him or something. I don't really understand. Or he brings something with him. I'm sure that's going to be an element in the game. That's why I'm bringing it up. I know it's a live action trailer, but it is still kind of important. Like, why else show that, right? So it's definitely important. It's just weird to me, because they were showing the alert symbol on his watch, but we don't know exactly what that meant yet. Um, but yeah, I definitely think it looks good. It doesn't look bad or anything like that. It, I would say it looks good. Now, like I said, there are my own issues, like being the desert kind of thing, and um, I should just say exploration. Um, but it doesn't look bad at all by any means. It's probably still going to be a good game, a day one. but um, let's just kind of see how it is when when it's uh, released fully. But I will say, I mean, for me at least, you know, but um, I would say it was good. It, it needs to work on some things. I feel like, uh, you know, being able to, you know, explore better than just um, using, uh, you know, your jetpack, I feel like is you know probably needed but 
we'll see how that is, I guess. Um, I won't know until I get to play it, you know, and it'll probably be a while before I get to play it personally. I would love to play it. If anybody wants to gift it to me, you can, um, you know, you can either donate me the thing. Um, you can look in the description where my donation link is, or you can do whatever you would like. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you guys later. Thanks. Much love.